At Reidsville State Prison, life was getting back to normal this morning. The dozens of state troopers who were watching over the prison yesterday were replaced by one guard at the front gate. Prison buses carrying inmates and guards moved in and out as they always do. And for convicted murderer Jack Potts, the death watch was over. Around 8.30 this morning, Potts' former girlfriend, Diane Nicholson, arrived for a visit. She was the one who last night convinced the condemned man to appeal. I'll be with Jackie uh, through everything. I'll, I won't desert him. Uh, that's one thing he was worried about, that his family and I and uh, his attorneys will be right with him the whole way. With her were three attorneys from the Team Defense Project. They brought a copy of the order staying today's scheduled execution for Potts to see. This appeal will get the death sentence vacated on Jackie Potts. There's no doubt in my mind. You don't believe that Jack Potts will ever be uh, executed? No, no. His death sentence is going to be reversed. There are leg substantial legal errors in this case. There's no way the death sentence can stand in this case. The commissioner of the State Department of Offender Rehabilitation says Potts will now be moved from his cell in the fifth floor death house to the fourth floor death row. He will be treated just like any of the other men there. David Evans also said this entire ordeal has well, been a very costly one it, for the I state. Think, you know, that we're required to carry out the law, and I think in, in uh, pulling together all the state agencies we did, as you all observed them here, uh, it was a terribly expensive operation. I have no idea of the cost, uh, the manpower, the man hours that went into uh, trying to carry it out in the best way possible, so I really can't speculate on that, Dennis. Whatever the future holds in store for Jack Potts, there is no chance there will ever again be an execution here at Reedsville. The death house is scheduled to be moved to Jackson within 30 days. From Reedsville, Dennis Kalf, Action News.